everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, I want to talk about the aftermath of the Mike Vick legend drop yesterday and also a bunch of content that's expected to be coming this week and why you should be saving your coins right now. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First off, my apologies, I wasn't able to get any videos out yesterday, I was tailgating all day uh, for the Syracuse game, and then I was at the game, so it was a long day, I was gone for like 8 or 9 hours, by the time I got back home, I left again, just wasn't able to get out a content video, but I don't feel like I missed too much, right, so Michael Vick is out there, he's very expensive, one thing that I want to start the video out with is talking about this Legends Opportunity Pack, this is probably one of the worst value packs I've ever seen EA drop ever, so it was almost about $40 and in this pack it gave you a 30% chance I believe at an 86 plus and of course 88 overall Mike Vick and Luke Keekley are in packs right now and they were yesterday but if you didn't get that 30% side of it you basically in my case got stuck with like 281 overall so almost $40 for 281s in a legend token uh, pretty boot brutal so if you haven't opened this pack and you were thinking about it my advice to you is to stay far away from this one. It was pretty bad. Again, I'm covering some stuff that came out yesterday, so you guys might know a lot of this already, but it is worth mentioning. Making sure that you're playing through your Legend solo challenges. Every week we get solos that feature the players that came out, and when you beat all of these solos within a sequence, it unlocks a final challenge at the end. You can't see it, you know, in week three, unless you play through the first two solo challenges. When you beat that final challenge, it gives you your choice of a lower overall Legend or a Legend Legend token. You guys want to be taking the tokens every single time. Not only do you get them at the end of every sequence, but also every milestone reward that you hit, you're going to get more tokens. The main reason that I bring this up is because I see a lot of people like, who should I redeem these tokens on? What's the best player? We're going up to 87 overall champions this week. So if you haven't used any of your tokens, definitely do not do it at this point because we got better cards on the way and a lot of the legends that we can expect next weekend have already leaked we're going to show you those in a moment so save uh, play the solo save your tokens because it feels like it's going to be a really big content week not only because we're getting a bunch of promo drops but also remember the season one field pass is coming to an end on September 3rd, which is going to be Tuesday. It says 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I will likely put out another video as a reminder within that 24-hour range, but normally what happens, if you're banking on 10.30 on 9.3, that's not going to happen. As far as the content coming out, I honestly have no idea. It'll be at some point on that date, but normally what happens is the night before, EA will put out a message that server maintenance will be taking place. That server maintenance on 9.3 will probably start at like 4, 5, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and the servers are going to be completely down. When they come back up, Season 2 is likely going to be live, so you're not really truly going to have until 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time to grind the Season 1 Field Pass. So if you haven't finished this thing out, you got to get to work over the next, I'd say, 48 hours or so. There's definitely enough XP in here between the Week 1, 2, and 3 Milestone Objectives, the Program Objectives, they added in Campus Hero uh, Field Pass Objectives a couple days ago doing your dailies. There's definitely more than enough XP in here to fully max this out. And I said this in a video a couple days ago. At the bare minimum, you want to try to get to at least level 31 because that's going to give you a Season 2 XP token. That token will be able to be redeemed for a jump start on the Season 2 Field Pass. We know what players are coming from that as well. This token will give you 20,000 XP towards that Field Pass. And it looks like they're going to use that same upgrade system of season tickets. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with season one tickets, if they're going to convert to training, if somehow they might convert them to season two tickets. I wouldn't get my hopes up on that one, but it was a thought that I had. But really, my advice is spend the tickets. You should have enough to max three players to an 85 overall from the season one field pass. And then after that, you can spend whatever you have left. I would recommend the boomer bus packs, whatever ones you can afford, the 79 plus, 77 plus, 75 plus. Definitely try to open those up today if you can as well, because we got LTDs and packs right now with Vic and Keekly. but also there's a pretty good LTD coming tomorrow with the AKA promo, so it wouldn't be bad to wait until tomorrow. And uh, let's take a look at, at Michael Vick and um, I think most specifically the quarterbacks. You guys know me, big Eagles fan. Pretty much any time a Mike Vick card comes out, I'm in there, I'm buying it. I don't mind left-handed quarterbacks. 
but we got Mike Vick and we got J.J. McCarthy, the two best quarterbacks in the game. They got speed. They got good throwing attributes, good accuracies. Um, you know, you can see them there. Both roughly about 1.5 million coins. Now, I have enough coins clearly to go out and buy this Mike Vick card, but I'm going to pump the brakes on this one because the content that's coming this week, uh, not only do we have a bunch of free cards, we have a bunch of quarterbacks on the way as well. And I'm not saying the cards that are going to be coming out this week are going to be better than Vic or even J.J. McCarthy, but I could certainly see it dropping the price down on these cards. And, you know, it's just always smarter to kind of be like a week behind when it comes to content drops because you can usually find these cards for a lot cheaper than they are when they come out for that first week. There are always going to be exceptions to that rule, but the general rule of thumb there is like if you can wait a week, if you can survive a week, a week and a half, you're usually going to be able to find cards cheaper. So, Mutt Leaks went crazy. I mean, they've been going crazy all year, but they went crazy over the last couple days. And I figured it'd be a great time to go through all of this just so what you guys can expect or know what to expect if you don't follow Mutt Leaks on Twitter or if you just don't even have a Twitter account. So Ricky Williams, LTD legend, I think is going to be dropping next week. We have an image here of the MCS kickoff card. So I believe this Derwin James is going to be a free card that you can earn by tuning into the MCS kickoff, the official announcement. Uh, will likely be coming very soon in a video form, and we'll be talking this week about Twitch drops and everything you need to do to get that all set up. But, you know, this one's still a couple weeks away, I believe, but it is a free strong safety or sub linebacker that you might be able to look forward to. Uh, we have Campus Hero LTDs. I wouldn't be surprised if they drop these tomorrow along with AKA content because that Campus Hero promo was only a one-part promo, and sometimes EA likes to follow up promos with LTDs, you know, on the back half of it, kind of like what we saw with Season of Boom last Monday. And Thursday, we have a brand new big promo coming out where we're going to see an overall escalation. We already saw the leak on this Justin Simmons, uh, and the other one's going to be Keon Coleman. So we got a free safety on the way, I think. I can't remember if they maybe had him as a strong safety. I might, I might have forgot there. You guys let me know in the comment section. Uh, and then Keon Coleman, who's got good height to him, could be another really good wide receiver. Uh, AKA is dropping tomorrow. Those will be officially released or revealed, I should say, later this afternoon because it's Sunday, but we got 87 overall, AKA Big Play Slay coming out. There's an 86 overall Beast Mode Marshawn Lynch, and you can see uh, they're going through, you know, the, the, the abilities that these cards and the X factors that they're going to get. And then we have a free safety, Paul Krause, right? So we got a couple good cards at some premium positions here that you can expect tomorrow. So you might see cards like Chris Johnson at running back go down in price. You might see a bunch of cornerbacks go down in price like a Patrick Sertain that came out not too long ago. That's a really good card at free safety. Jalen Petrie, Ify Melifanu, Earl Thomas, not overly expensive already, but Paul Krause might take over there at that position. So you can see those cards go down in price. Then we have the Game Time Part 1 Champion. So this is more than likely uh, looking like the Big Thursday promo. I don't know if this is replacing the Ultimate Kickoff promo, which we usually see the Thursday before the NFL season starts, or I should say the Thursday that the NFL season starts. But number one, look at the name. Second one down there, CJ Stroud. Again, he probably won't be better than Vic or JJ McCarthy. Maybe, but he's an adding 87 overall. So this basically confirms that we're going up to 87 champions and 88 overall LTDs, which we got a taste of with the Mike Vick and the Luke Keekley card. Brock Bowers, tight end. You know, this one could drop some prices like a Vernon Davis. Again, he might not be better than Vernon Davis, but it still could bring the prices down. Tremaine Edmonds could be a really good user. And Micah Parsons always has good cards that you can uh, uh, pass rush with. We have some LTDs here. Xavier Worthy. I mean, we saw his gold card had 86 speed. This card might be an 88 overall. You do the math. This is going to be a really fast wide receiver. And then we got Kyle Wiggins, who is known for having speed as well. You go back to his draft cards in Mutt 24 really fast. So these could be some really high price items, but you know, again, more cards that could drop the cost of other cards that are out right now down in price. Some of those 87 speed wide receivers like a Malik Neighbors could drop in price because of this card. So that's uh, more that we got to look for. There's a Puka Nakua. We don't know exactly what this one is for, or at least Mutt Leaks doesn't know either. It says could be a make good. I wouldn't get my hopes up there, but hey, you never know. Maybe they upgrade that rookie premier Puka Nakua to a game time Puka Nakua for free and bump up his OVR or something due to all the issues that came along with the rookie premier content. 
that would be a very nice gesture by EA. I won't hold my breath, but if they do something like that, that would be a W. Uh, we have Legends next week. Ricky Williams, Tony Gonzalez, LTDs, but you can see... We're going up to 87 overall champion, so we got Reggie Wayne on the way. Yet another wide receiver to look forward to out of all the ones that we've already talked about. And then Eric Berry, so another strong safety that could drop the price of Cam Chancellor. It could drop the price of Ken Houston. Again, these are things that, you know, I'm not a big fan of Mutt Leaks because I feel like it ruins the surprise of a lot of content. But knowing these things and, and kind of playing the market off of these things is valuable information. So as long as they're putting this content or information out... I'm going to have to cover it in videos for you guys. Reduxes could be on the way uh, with all the LTDs that have came out prior to Season 2. All the Season 1 LTDs, we might see them get put back in packs as Redux cards. Uh, and then, I'm not going to go through all of the attributes here, but you can for yourself. We do have five new Season 2 players. Remember, Season 2 starts very, very soon on the 3rd. Uh, these are all going to upgrade the same way that Season 1 players did, where you get a base card... You unlock it with tokens, you use season tickets to buy the upgrade tokens, and you got five players here. Brian Burns, uh, Cooper DeJean, Eagles legend there, Kirk Cousins, another quarterback. Is he going to be better than Vic? Absolutely not, but he might be a really good pocket passer, and at the end of the day, he's free. We got Stephon Diggs, and we have, I believe that's Tyron Smith over there with the Jets. There was also a threaded tweet under that one that these cards are going to max out at an 89 overall, opposed to the 85 overall that Season 1 gave us. And they're going to have two ability buckets. So we're starting to see some really good cards and some free cards on the way with Season 2. I know the names don't excite everybody in the world. But listen, if they get all 32 Team Chems and they have good attributes and they're free, that is fine with me. I could care less about the names unless they're Cowboys players. Uh, and then there was some more information here based on the 88 overall Worthy and Nate Wiggins. Uh, 87 overall Brock Bauer, CJ Stroud, and Micah Parsons. And an 87 overall Game Time lineup shot shuffle reward so i would have to think that that's something you're going to be able to earn for free the tremaine Edmonds lineup shuffle could that be a new limited time game mode that would be really cool if they added it so like i said guys don't be out there spending a ton of coins right now because there's a lot of good and free cards on the way very very soon and it feels like it's going to be a pretty big content week in mutt 25 this upcoming week with aka's with season two launching the game time promo more campus heroes ltds we got legends and we got overall escalations on the way so hopefully that video helped you out and gave you some good information if it did click that thumbs up thank you for watching it my name is popular stranger i'm out peace